so it's the next day and you can see the bombs are in shock but that's okay um, I think they're gonna pull through just fine this is this wilting isn't too bad I would be more worried if the leaves were really shriveled up but I think these will come back I'm gonna keep watering them the next few days um, just to make it easier on them and hopefully they'll pull through so now I have these two great big holes to work with in this bed I'm actually gonna remove this herb too I forget what this is I think it's gosh I don't even know I completely forget if you know what that is leave a comment and let me know I'm sure I've got a tag somewhere so I just pulled this out of my bed and it's a black radish have you ever seen a black radish I've never seen a black radish and I don't think I planted any kind of black or purple variety which is kind of funky all right so I've started clearing out the bed a little bit oh. all right so I've started clearing out the bed a little bit I've removed all the radishes and a bunch of lettuce because I'm gonna feed that to my rabbits because that's what I planted it here for so you can see I freed up a ton of room for new plants um, these are my two basil plants that were hidden in there I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this plant I'm gonna pull it out the mint is insane. Um, I may have to do a, a big prune back on this chocolate mint. Um, and the Vietnamese cilantro is nice and tall. Um, it's normally supposed to be more of a creeping herb, but because everything was so crowded in here, everything was growing up tall. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and also prune back the Italian oregano and um, this oregano here because they're really leggy from trying to get their own sun with all that bee balm in there. So that's, that's what's going on right now. All right, I've got that sucker out and I used the shovel this time. And this is what it's looking like. A lot of extra space, <laughs> a lot of extra pay. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's too early. A lot of extra space to plant new things. Um, which I think I'm actually, this is supposed to be an herb bed, but I'm not going hardcore on the herbs this year. So I think I'm going to use the space for some more pepper plants and a tomato and then some more scarlet runner beans. That's the plan at least. All right, so what I've planted now are two more runner beans, um, a pasilla pepper, yeah, pink squash here, and I'm hoping this is a trailing one so it'll go over the edge. I can't remember. Um, I planted a bunch of tarragon seeds right around here in the tarragon. There's a purple tomatillo here, and then this is a um, cherry tomato, a yellow cherry tomato, I believe. Um, so this is plenty of stuff for this bed once it grows up. It's going to look bare for a while, but that's all right. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to trim everything that was sort of sticking up and getting leggy by about a third. So this oregano here, which is spicy oregano, the Italian oregano, I'm gonna trim up by a third. I'm probably gonna trim up the Vietnamese cilantro also because it's kind of leaning over. I'm gonna trim that one up by quite a bit. And then the chocolate mint, I'm also going to trim up by about a third, but I'm not gonna trim up this bushy one in the front because I don't think it needs it. I'm just gonna trim up this really leggy one here. Um, and then, then I'll be done. All right, so you can see I've pruned things up quite a bit and I ended up really dramatically pruning this bush here, um, this chocolate mint, even though I said I wasn't going to, just because I wanted to even out this side and I wanted it to get a little bit bushier. Um, and when you trim them, you want to make sure you trim at a point where you'll see the, some leaves. So this one I would trim right here and then these leaves will branch off and become new branches. Um, I really trimmed the heck out of this side here, and this is a, just another chocolate mint. Um, and I think it actually has a peppermint mixed in with this one. But I trimmed this one back by more than a third because it was just crazy long and it was weaving into stuff. So I trimmed that up. I also trimmed up the Vietnamese cilantro. You can actually see it now because I took all the mint out of it. There was a bunch of mint weaving in and out of it, but I trimmed up the back 
you can see there. Um, just to give it a little bit more support, I'll probably trim off this one since it's leaning over. So any of the ones that um, tend to want to lean over, those are the ones that I trim off, and I trim them off by about two thirds. I trimmed up the um, oregano, the Italian oregano. I also trimmed up the spicy oregano quite a bit, more than a third on that one. Um, just because that one was really leggy because it was in the shade the whole time. I also trimmed up this mint here. And then I trimmed up my two basil plants. This one is African basil and that one is Thai basil. They had a few blooms on them, and I but I trimmed them up to get bushier as well. And I trimmed those up close to the bottom. And I'll show you guys um, how I trim basil to get a really bushy plant in another video. But these two plants were just gangly little single stem things when I planted them. And I just kept pruning them to get them to bush out like this. So... Um, you'll see at the end of the season towards fall, these will be huge bushes. All right, and here is my bucket of casualties. I'm going to root a bunch of these, and um, I may or may not do a separate video on how I do that. We'll see. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. This is a ball zucchini plant, and as you can see, we've got some good size ones on there. I'm not sure exactly how big you're supposed to let these get, um, but you can see we've got a whole bunch. <sighs> oh my gosh, there's at least 20 on this plant. Goodness. Um, I'm not sure how big these are supposed to get. I need to look it up because I haven't um, grown these before, but I'm pretty excited about them. And here's an update on my regular zucchini. We've got quite a few going in here. I don't want to mess with them too much because I don't want to break them off. Okay, you see. There's a whole bunch. And I'm pretty happy about it. I planted a bunch more out into my rows over there. I just haven't, um, they haven't taken off just yet like these ones have. So we'll see. I'll have to update you guys on those soon. Here's my little, one of my little bell peppers coming in. It gets, it's like, it grows twice its size about every two days, so... I'm excited about that. There's another little one there and a few more up at the top there. My little Asian eggplant is doing good. Nasturtiums are doing well. I'm not eating my nasturtiums because I want to collect seed first before I start just eating them. <laughs> so that's why I've just been letting them stay bloomed. They were supposed to be a darker red than this, but they ended up being a really bright red, which I actually, I kind of like. I normally don't like red, but I do like red nasturtiums, so. I'm cool with it. Ooh, I think I'm gonna actually pick some of this lettuce for my chickens. So I pick um, just around the outside of the lettuce plant and then the lettuce plant will keep giving me lettuce. So I should have this lettuce going for a couple more months, hopefully. This is, I think it was a like a butter crunch type lettuce and then I've got some endive in here which endive oh my gosh it takes over I could pick this I could cut this down I usually cut it down with scissors but I could probably cut that down every day and that's how fast it grows every day every other day or so is usually how quick my endive grows so I'm just gonna harvest a bunch of this for my chickens right now and then I'll get more of it later for myself. But I'm just not hungry right now. Oh, and I see a bad bug right here that I don't want. It's not a ladybug, but they look like ladybugs. So, gotta kill those. All right. I think I thinned that one down pretty good. Pretty good. That's a good little snack for the chickens. Trees filled with